put the, the plastic things over it, it will damage it. I know, yesterday it was a little too crowded in here, yeah, so I could come in, yeah. Tell me about it. That's the playlist, so there's something on there you want to hear. Let me know. Okay. You're the first to ever give a playlist like this, that's smart. Thank you. And actually, if you scan that with your phone, it will pull up our playlist on Clubhouse. Oh, really? Cool. Smart. I like that you got a lot of real music on here, you know? Thank you. Well, in all fairness, we're more music lovers than we are audio lovers. All right. So. No Keith Don't Go is on, you know, that's the key. <laughs> if you see Keith Don't Go... <laughs> Actually, this is the first show I've ever been to where I haven't heard Keith Don't Go. You haven't heard it? You haven't heard it all yet. Right. Well, you just jinxed it. You're yeah, I know, it. exactly. Today it'll be all nonstop. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is all good stuff. I can really listen to this. Yeah, I mean. I just went to Jeff Beck's uh, mastering studio down below the Sunset Marquee uh, the other night. Maybe that'd be cool. That's a good one. Yeah, he's got one called Nightbird. At least that's what I was told. Underground, the Sunset Marquee in West Hollywood. Yeah. And so I was hanging out there the other night. Somebody that knew the lay of the land took me down there. And it was just crawling with people. The, the hotel was dead. Really? All right, so we'll do this jump back and we'll crank it up. All right. Oh, hours. I went downstairs and found me. They're just your interconnect basically running yeah, from the so source. For the demo, what we've got is music saved on my hard drive on my computer. Right. And I've got a music streamer, the Blue Sound Nodes. Okay. It's just grabbing music from the computer. And there's one digital coax cable going from that to this speaker. Okay. And then there's a one digital coax going from this one to that one. Okay. Other than that, it's just power cables going to the wall. Right. That's why you got everything else X through. Yeah. No need it. No need it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's. Three dedicated amplifiers inside of each speaker. Okay. Jack, preamp, all built in. Okay. So, digital so you have to have a power cord though from these, right? Yeah. Yeah. One power cord for that one, one power cord for that one. Gotcha. Yeah.
crossover and all that. We don't have any like DSP magic trying to correct anything. For the room, but basically or, for the volume we're level. We're not trying to correct anything for our ears. Gotcha. So basically mm -hmm. that one, we're just taking what's on that recording. Blue, we're trying to present that as flat a frequency response as we can. Okay. So what was on it, that's what we're trying to reproduce. Okay. Um, and There is, yeah. So yeah, I can hit so, the DSP here. Yeah, so you've got one here in effect. Plus only, you've got your preset. And this is really cool. It's a powerful tool here. Right. The only problem is if you have multiple sources. So if you've yeah, got a source that isn't room, right, all that's of a sudden right. all those are not. Yeah, I use that religiously, but I'm all digital. But yes, for people that yeah. turntable. Yeah. Right, and so, these, we've got digital and analog inputs. So if you look at the back <coughs> one over there, okay, we've, yeah, I saw we've it. got balanced and unbalanced analog. And then for digital, we've got a digital coax, so spin it, um, and we've got optical and an AES connection. Okay. And you could, if you have multiple sources, you could use all of those at the same time. Interesting. And the speaker will lock on to whatever has the active signal. So you don't even have to switch. It'll just no, automatically. By, by default, these are set to an auto detect setting. Nice. So if I had a turntable over here, right. uh, if it had line level out, I could go straight in, or if I had a phono stage, right. I could pause my streamer here, and the speakers will wait 15 seconds. When it does, 15 seconds after not hearing a signal, it'll go into a cycle where it'll look for a new signal. Okay. And I'll start up the turntable, it'll lock right onto that. Or if I had my TV here, I can have an optical going from my TV to the speaker and I can listen to my TV. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so people don't have to constantly switch. Yeah, yeah that's great. Right. So we're yeah. trying, it's, it's as close to all in one as we can, so it's everything but the switch. Yeah. No, this just shows that y'all really understand speakers because you're, you've got the EQ, you've got those presets for different volume levels, and then you've got the automatic switching. These are things that people just overlook or they don't even put in most speakers. Yeah. And like I said, for us, we're we're just music lovers, so we don't right. all the all the gear that normally goes in the middle. Yeah. Unless that's cool, we love that stuff, but. When it comes down to wanting to sit down and listen to yeah. music, we want to just listen to music. Yeah, at the so end I'm, of the day, you get fatigued. Whatever cool stuff you listen to, it's still only cool as long as you, if you, you know, knew. Yeah, enjoy it. It's the right. experience, right? Yeah, but uh, this is more lifestyle oriented, you know, and realistic for it's, most yeah, people. Yeah, it is. It's, it's lifestyle meets the performance. Because yeah. when we started off on this, that was the goal. Like, hey, we the lifestyle part is, is good because we use it. You know, that's why we're using it. We're using a Sonos because we can just pull out our phone and string to it. Right. But the performance is what we're after. Gotcha. So let's merge the two. Right. And so that's a side firing woofer. Those are actually passive. Passive radiator. Yeah. Okay. So, so the, the only, woofer. The only active woofer tweeter. is the five and a quarter inch woofer. Gotcha. Right. Okay. So and there's three amplifiers inside of each enclosure. Okay. There's our one amplifier dedicated to each of those, the woofer, mid range, and tweeter. Okay. 
Well, they seem to be doing well with base in here. What does it go down to? Like 45 or something? 40? We're plus or minus one down to 30 hertz. 30 hertz, so that's great. And we're minus three at 27. Okay. And we've got usable base extension down to 24. So that's practically all you need, you know. So that's music. great. Yeah. Unless somebody's listening to pipe organ, which nobody listens to anyway, you know. No, this is great. Thank you.